Ooh, hello. Let's see if we're live. Let's see if we're recording. Oh, don't want to kick the camera. Huh. Don't see it going live yet. What's going on here? Oh, there it goes. All right, that sound is a lot better, it looks like. Cool, cool, cool. Hopefully, you guys are experiencing an improvement in the audio from your end. I'm going to give it a few minutes here for some more people to join before I jump into the main meat of the topic for today. As I'm sure you've probably guessed by the title of the video, we're going to be talking about how to make the selection of adult diapers in stores better. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I got a whole bunch of stuff on the agenda today for us to dig into and discuss. We got Oscar hobbing in the chat saying, uh, happy safe Pride Month. Right back at you, brother. Definitely be safe out there, my friends. Happy Pride to everybody. This is the first... Uh, I think the first live stream of the month. We got Chris Wolf Raven. Welcome to the Diaper Warriors. Thank you so much for joining the membership program, Chris. Much love to you. Appreciate that. Uh, awesome. I really love to see that. And for those of you just joining, if you're if it's your first time here uh, and you want to help support the channel or the content with a super chat or a super thanks, that'd be super awesome. Uh, but we have a ton of stuff to get into, so I'm just giving it a minute here for people to join. We got 17 people watching. We got Rafa Warrior hopping in saying hi. Classic Time saying that's better. That's great to hear. So everybody who is currently here, is the audio sounding a lot better for you than it was a few minutes ago? I sure hope so. Funnily enough, whoever said unplug it and plug it back in, you actually were right. I had it plugged into the wrong slot, which is why... I wasn't getting the audio as I should have, so I should have listened to you because all I had to do was plug it into the other thing, and we could have got going. <laughs> we got Jake Ra saying, hi, all right, what's up, Jake Ra? We got 23 people watching, cool, 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 We're, we are warming up here. Chris Wolfraven saying, happy Pride, y'all, I'm trying to go to Pride for the first time this year. You know what? Me too, Chris, and in, in all fairness, there's a little bit of a backstory there. But it's one of the first years that I personally am feeling the undercurrent of pride. You know, I, I really, finally, I'm starting to understand it a bit better. Uh, even though I am gay and I just, it's not been my thing. So, anyway, that's besides the point of the topic. Let me just see what I have in my notes here. Oh, I did want to give you guys some updates on the channel and some stuff that's been going on. So, if you attended the last live stream that I did, you may have noticed that I took a lot of that content and I repurposed it. Uh, my whole point in doing that and was trying to see if I could get better at batch recording so that way I'm not constantly going insane and feeling like I always have to be on this treadmill of putting content out. So in a way, it did work in that sense. It was my first successful attempt at batch recording multiple videos. And you guys asked me some really great questions, which led to some super awesome content out of that. Unfortunately, those particular videos do not perform as well as when I do a full evaluation on the topic. Usually when I do my bigger videos, the ones that get a lot more views, I plan it from start to finish. I do... Uh, I plan all of the thumbnails, like I make multiple thumbnails, multiple titles, I think about the entire subject. I do a lot of planning on those videos that end up getting 20,000, 30,000, 40, 50,000 views. So uh, that is uh, something that I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on and let you know that for today's live stream, I don't think I'm going to be repurposing this content. I have a whole list of other series ideas that I really want to start working towards doing for you guys because I think they would make the channel a lot bigger. They will reach a broader audience. They'll be more entertaining and informative, just all around better content. So uh, the live stream repurposing thing, batch recording kind of stuff, that's the kind of stuff that I'm going to have to do once in a while when I need some time off and I need to restore my sanity. So those were some of the things I wanted to cover. Uh, we're going to be talking uh, a lot more later on about some of those ideas. In fact, I don't know how much of that I want to reveal because I do have competitors out there and sometimes they watch and I don't want to give away my best ideas. But um, yeah. So I have a, a lot of awesome ideas to pursue and coming up with more all the time. Yeah, I'm just kind of like reading what I have wrote here. Um, basically, I just need to solidify some better brand partnerships 
to get the kind of quality content out to you that I really would like to do. And on that note, I do want to tell you before we get to the main topic today, that today's live stream is being brought to you and sponsored by Confidry 24-7. Those of you who are longtime watchers and fans of the channel probably already know that this is my personal favorite brand that I've been wearing for many years. So I'm super honored to be working with them for this live stream today and for the project that I'm ultimately going to be telling you about in this live stream. Before we jump into it, let me just see who else is joining the live stream here. We got we got 22 people. All right. Uh, I'm using crinkles, Mr. Hippo saying, hey, any advice for anyone who has to wear and go through puberty? Um, okay, so any questions you guys have that are not related to the main topic today, uh, please hold on to those questions till the end of the presentation. I will do an open floor and I will answer whatever questions I can answer towards the end of the live stream. So if you have any questions that you would like me to ask, uh, write them down somewhere and ask me once we're done here. While we go through the main topic, try and keep the questions that you do have to ask related to the topic that we're discussing today, which is the mission to get a better quality selection of products in store shelves. Oh, and I do want to mention, uh, as uh, I do want to mention that since Confidry 24/7 is sponsoring today's stream, there is a link in the description below where you can purchase their product at Walmart.com. Now I'm going to explain why Walmart.com here as we go through the presentation and uh, what the goal is and what we're trying to do. Okay, so just to start off here, uh, it was about a week or two ago I got approached on LinkedIn about potentially working with Confidry 24-7 towards uh, a particular goal that they have in mind. Oh my gosh, I just realized uh, there's a piece of information that I wanted to share with you guys. I guess we're going to have to dig it up right here live on the live stream. I meant to get it prepared beforehand. So ultimately, I got a message on LinkedIn uh, from a couple of people who are working with Confidry to distribute it. So basically the way it works is Confidry produces the product. They don't really distribute it themselves. They work with a bunch of different distributors across the internet, you know, wherever they can get them. And uh, one of their distributors who's working more closely with them than any other distributor that I'm aware of approached me about potentially working with them. And they told me that their ultimate goal, actually, let me hold off on that. Current types of all uh, Yeah, I'm getting so shy, sidetracked here. This is not the presentation that I had planned. So let me uh, try and pull up what I had originally meant to start with, but for some reason didn't actually get here. Give me one second here, guys. I'm going to go to my poll, the polls that I ran, talking about some of these things it was a little bit ago. Here we are. Okay. So, what I wanted to start with was the this poll here. In fact, let me go back over here and get the other one ready for you guys as well. Man, I am not so great at these live streams yet. <laughs> um, all right, so there was another one I ran on Twitter. Let me just pull that up. Let's see here. Some important things to discuss here, and this these polls give us some important context. All right, nope, that's not the one. Man, I did my best to get everything prepared, and I got I missed the most important pieces here. I post way too much. Where is this freaking poll at? Kind of explains me how long ago it was that I initially started thinking about this. All right, there it is. Okay. Whew. By the end of this live stream, I'm gonna be sweating because it's hot in here. There's no AC in here. Okay, let me hop over here. All right, sorry about that, guys. I'm glad there's that you're still here. We got 25 of you still watching. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, you may got you guys may remember me asking some of these questions. I ran a few different polls. 
basically trying to assess because basically what happened is I uh, I got the message from some people working with Comfort Drive 24 7 we started discussing some things I had a, like a few different potential deals on the table at the time so I was kind of like trying to take my time with them and make sure I wasn't rushing into anything but they initially approached me and said that uh, they've been trying to sell the product, the Confidry 24-7 diaper on walmart.com and haven't been having a whole lot of success with that. And their ultimate goal is to increase their sales on the walmart.com website so that way they could potentially convince Walmart to stock the product in stores on shelves. So right now the link that I have in the description below, the one we're going to be talking about throughout the course of this live stream, uh, it's mainly to serve those of you who are in the... Uh, United States, specifically the contiguous United States, those connected to the main landmass, so not in Hawaii and Alaska, but eventually I'm sure we will work towards branching out to uh, include Hawaii, Alaska, Canada. I, I, I'm sure the goal would be eventually to branch out, but right now, the way it is, it's just the contiguous United States. But uh, yeah, so I got approached a few weeks ago about this potential idea, and I got super excited about it because as you guys are well aware, and as I'm already well aware, the options in stores and on shelves just really aren't that great. Uh, they, they've, you know, it's been 20 plus years of advancements, and I feel like the options in stores on shelves have actually gotten worse. That's just me personally. We're gonna go a little bit more deeper into that, but before we do, I just wanted to touch on the polls that I ran. So once I was uh, thinking about this question, I was thinking, you know, even if personally I could buy Confidry 24-7 at Walmart in in the Walmart grocery store, personally that probably wouldn't be something that I would do uh, just because I've always ordered online. So I got thinking like how many of you actually are interested in something like that? How many of you would actually buy your diapers at Walmart or Walgreens or CVS or whatever your mainstream local grocery store or local pharmacy is? So I ran a couple polls asking you that question to try and see where your heads were at and how many of you actually felt about that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the results of those polls. Let me get over here. So here we have the one I ran on YouTube, which got 594 votes. And I specifically asked, I'm curious if you would buy your favorite diaper brand at your local grocery store or pharmacy. And I said, would you? Uh, and I'm talking about a high quality brand. So obviously like Confidry 24 seven, ideally Mega Max, Better Dry, any of these companies, if they had their, their quality products uh, on store shelves, would you buy them there? And so of almost 600 responses, nearly 90% of you said you would. I was actually a little shocked by that. Um, so I guess I'm in the minority on this one, which is the reason why I do these polls. So when you guys see me running these polls or asking specific questions, there's almost always a purpose to these things. I'm usually trying to conduct some sort of research. I'm trying to dig out some information, trying to get a sense of where your heads are at, trying to get a sense of who you are and uh, you know who my market is. So anytime you see me running these polls or asking questions like that, just keep that kind of stuff in mind. Sometimes people will put responses in the comments that really don't pertain to the main question, but that's okay. You know, it happens. This is the internet. You're going to have all kinds of people respond to things. Okay, and then over here on Twitter, we had 212 votes. And again, we had similar results with almost 86% of those who responded saying, yes, they would be very interested in that. And then furthermore, when we dig into the comments, a lot of you were talking about how much more convenient it would be. Uh, some of you were commenting on how you'd be able to save on shipping costs. Uh, there were a variety of reasons why you would be interested in such a thing. So that is the tip of the iceberg of this project. So just just by gathering from those of you who wear and use these products, who know them really well, many of you would be willing to buy them in stores. So then I guess the next question would be, let's go back over to our little management area. And uh, let me see where I'm at in my little presentation. So then, all right, so once we had that question asked, my next question in my mind is like, is because I, I, it's not something that I generally, I don't generally visit the incontinence aisle when I'm at the grocery store because I'm usually just there to get groceries and it's not something I've thought about in a whole long time, as well as I already know that the selections there aren't really that great. 
So in an effort to prepare for this live stream and just to talk about this subject in more depth, I did a little bit of recon yesterday and I went out and uh, gathered some video. So let's go ahead and switch over to the video so we can take a look and see what's currently on store shelves. Okay, so we got my little video here and we're just gonna scrub through this a little bit at a time. So first, let's just play the whole video. So you can see right here, we have pretty much different types of pads, you know, just pads, pads. There's a, some pull-ups right there. Uh, right here, we can see some, this is probably the best product on the shelf. <laughs> the adult wipes. I've n I haven't actually tried them myself, but some of you were commenting on them. And frankly, I do need to use adult wipes more. I'm gonna have to pick up a pack of those to give them a try. Uh, assurance down here, we have one single, I don't, can you guys see my cursor? Let me go back over here and see if you can see my cursor. Cause last time, I don't think you guys can see my cursor. But uh, you'll see at the bottom of the shelf here, there's an assurance tape up diaper brand. That's the only tape up diaper on the entire shelf and uh in my opinion it's probably not very good i mean it's got one single large tape it looks like i'm not sure how well that kind of design holds up i've never tried a diaper quite like that and then on the rest of the shelf here you see a lot of depends so we have uh insurance we have insurance we have assurance diapers or assurance pull-ups assurance pads always pads depends those are primarily what I'm seeing on these shelves. And this is Walmart, by the way, in case I didn't mention. This is the Walmart shelf. And now over here, this is this next clip is what we have at Walgreens. So at Walgreens, we have very much the same thing. Uh, I didn't see this on my first pass through, but Certainty Underwear, I'm betting that's the Walgreens generic brand of uh, diapers or pull-ups. And yep, there's Certainty more there. Certainty under pads, Cer uh, some more depends or depend, I guess. Everybody says depends, but it really doesn't have an S. So there we have uh, the different brands that are currently available on store shelves. And frankly, if you are like, if you're a bedwetter of any age, of any level, any degree, none of these products would do for you. And just to put that into context, two out of every hundred adults, two out of every hundred teens, two out of every hundred adults has bedwetting issues. So this is not something that's a small problem. There's lots of people out there who have bedwetting issues. And if they were to initially just, as most of us do, when you first start having issues, go to the grocery store to get a product and think that these products would be good for their needs, they're gonna find out real quickly that they're still gonna be waking up to a wet bed. So. The other thing I wanted to cover here about these different products on the shelves is who it is that's occupying the space. So as we saw here, um, as we saw here, there were poise incontinence pads, always discreet. Uh, uh, poise incontinence pads, uh, from what I can tell, are made by Kimberly Clark. So if we hop over to this other window here, it's still the same window, but let's go to this. Oh, that's always discreet. So yeah, I was trying to figure out who makes these products because the one thing that was kind of really irritating me about this is they have all of these pads. First off, these types of pad inserts, they're really only good for relatively minor issues. So like leaking when you sneeze, cough, run, uh, maybe you leak a little bit after going to the restroom. Uh, these particular types of products, these pad products are not meant they're not well designed for large voids or even smaller voids. Like anything more than a dribble or a leak, they're really not designed for that. So it's kind of baffling to me that the bulk of this shelf, if we go back over to the, to the video and we go back over here, like look at how much of this shelf are these pads, right? And not just that, the pads themselves have varying degrees of absorbency. Like what, what are these companies thinking? Just by looking at the, the selection on these shelves, it tells me that the companies that make these products 
do not at all understand the market that they're trying to serve. The fact that you would give five different absorbency levels on something that really has next to no level of absorbency, like this is not a product that, like if you're wearing a pad and it's leaking, the solution is not to get a more absorbent pad because that's, that's gonna leak too, you know? If you have a large void, it's gonna overflow and it's gonna leak, you know? So, all right, I, I'm kind of going going on and on here. It's just really frustrating to me that this is where the industry is at. So the, the all of this shelf space that we're looking at is occupied by three major companies, in Walmart anyway. So in Walmart, it's Procter & Gamble, it's Kimberly Clark, and it's, of course, the Walmart generic brand of Equate. And then, if, and then on Walgreens shelf, we had the same thing, only they had the Certainty generic brand by Walgreens. So, yeah, there's the big dogs are occupying the space and they're doing next to nothing for a significant fraction of the market. Now, that said, the majority of people who have incontinence issues are on the minor end of the spectrum. So, a lot of the lower level products are good for a significant chunk of the market, but it's still neglecting this entire other side of the market with much higher needs and and much higher level of concern when it comes to needing protection for these sorts of issues so let's see three big entrenched all right so when it comes to getting any other products on the shelf space we definitely got our job cut out for us so uh, i just wanted to kind of like point that out the fact that the 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 entire amount of shelf space that's being taken up is by the massively big and well-established brands in the market. The brands that are neglecting a significant amount of us. So we're going to get into a little bit more about how we're going to do this. But before I move on further, I covered uh, that the products that are on shelves, it's not that they're terrible products. They're good for some people. It's just a terrible selection of products. You know, they, they should have multiple levels of tape up diapers that have multiple levels of absorbency. They should also have booster pads on these shelves. They should maybe even have, uh, maybe even plastic pants. I, I don't know how necessary that one is, but there should be an entire aisle dedicated to this, not just some small shelf space. Because if there's some little old lady out there, you know, some lady in her 70s who doesn't use the internet, not internet savvy, not going on YouTube, what are you doing over here? Siri thought I was trying to call her. But yeah, any anybody who's above a certain age... Oh my gosh, shut up, Siri. Anybody who's above a certain age or who just is not internet savvy or who prefers going to brick and mortar stores and thinks that this is the selection, the, the quality selection that they're looking for, they're just not going to realize how many other high quality products there are out there. So... We'll, we'll have to dig into another time. We'll have to dig into at another time, maybe another live stream or maybe in a video, why the industry is this way. Why is it that these are the products on shelves? Maybe there's some good reason for it, but all in all, I, I think that maybe personally, from my perspective, it's really an evolution of the market stemming from an era where these issues were too taboo to talk about. And as a result, they basically box themselves in by being too afraid to push that boundary, which is what I'm here to fix. All right, that first segment went on for a while. We're going to take a quick break here so that way we can engage with you guys, see how you guys are doing. We got 26 of you watching. You guys are popping in and out of chat here. Let me just catch up with you real quick. We got uh, Chris saying, uh, the pen sucks. Yes, I agree. Uh, Joseph says, hey, Mark, what's up, Joseph? How you doing today? We got Jonah hopping in. Yeah, I've noticed that there's never anything that I like at Walmart, Target, etc. It's all almost the same. Yeah, it's uh, excuse me, it's all almost the same, and uh, I have a feeling as we travel down this pathway towards achieving this goal, we're gonna learn a lot more about why it's that way, and maybe some ways, maybe some ways to get around it. Chris says, Chris Wolf Raven says, Procter and Gamble and Kimberly Clark. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Billy says, I agree. Better diapers on store shelves. Yes, I think we all agree with the main objective. Question is, how are we going to get it there? Um, Chris, Chrissy says, 
or classic time says yeah it depends work for light and condense but not much more yeah exactly like for me personally since i have a, a heavier issue i can maybe get away with wearing a depend to the gym you know if i'm going to the gym for an hour or two and i'm going to be sweating significantly i can get away with that uh, but there were some, uh, there were some pull-ups that I tried for uh, a brand deal I did a while back called Sure Care pull-ups, and those ones, they leaked on me pretty much every single time I tried to wear them. So, yeah, it really just depends. I mean, I think in way of pull-ups, depend is probably like if I actually did a head-to-head -head of different types of pull-ups. If I actually did a head-to-head -head of different types of pull-ups, I think depend probably would be towards the top end of the pull-up genre of products but that's not saying a whole lot <laughs> um okay we got crazy saying i live in newfoundland canada and all the diapers in stores where i live are cloth backed and thin they should bring back plastic backed adult diapers like in the 1990s i'm working on it chrissy trust me i'm going to be hammering this home i'm going to be making a huge fuss and as my channel gets bigger as all of my channels get bigger we're going to be working towards fixing these issues. I promise you that. Chris says, preach it, Mark. Amen. <laughs> Reverend Soggy Pamps. <laughs> I love your name. Reverend Soggy Pamps, the pads are mainly for periods, not urine. Actually, no. They are for urine. So if you search incontinence pads, you get these results. This is what I... Every time I search for incontinence pads, when I was trying to find these pads, this is what came up. They're just pink. The uh, the ones that are meant for menstrual cycles are kept in a whole different section of the store. They're on different shelves. So while some of them, uh, like if we look closely at some of these, I do believe they actually double. Let's switch back over to this window real quick and look at these. So ultra thin pads for heavy bladder leaks, ultimate absorbency, long length, daily line. So all of these say they're designed for bladder leaks. And that's kind of important to note because the content of bladder fluid and the content of blood fluid are slightly different uh, so you the composition to absorb each uh, would be different so I mean as an example I think that a pad designed to absorb blood uh, is not necessarily something good to use for urine but I do believe that something designed to absorb urine could potentially be used for blood so uh, I don't have the specifics on that but i think with the way the products are designed something like a regular diaper for a heavy menstrual cycle would actually work just fine uh, i don't think it works the other way around i i don't think it will work as well the other way around so let's see what else we got here in the chat uh shalika says hi george brie my name is shalika some time all right so you're talking to other chat members yeah that would be nice to have another store simulator to changing times uh, classic times I don't, i'm not sure i'm understanding what that would be nice to have another store simulator to changing times company i'm not sure what you're referencing there but jay says abdlr is a great brick and mortar company you know they are actually here in my town i should go visit them and i've been meaning to but every time my car is working I don't make it out there, and then my car breaks down again. So, uh, but I do need it. F Fresco, you're driving me nuts, dude. My dog's outside the door, scratching at it. Okay, all right. So that was the first break. So, just uh, oh, you know what? I <laughs> had a couple other things planned for this first break. So let's go over here and uh, engage with you guys a little bit more. Let's go to my Photoshop window, and we want to... That's not the right question. Whoops. All right, so let me go down here. Mm. All right, so while we're in our first break here, I did want to engage with you guys a little bit further other than just answering your questions. Let's go ahead and engage on the topic a little bit more deeply. And uh, I want to know, uh, where do you guys buy your diapers and why? Where do you buy your diapers and why? Do you buy them online on websites? Why do you buy it from that particular website? Is there a particular brand that you prefer? Let's go ahead and have a little discussion about that real quick. Music says, can you show your adult diaper pail again? Maybe after we're done with the main topic. 
right now we're trying to focus on where we buy diapers and why because the main point of this discussion today is to strategize how we're going to get Confidry and other quality diapers on the mainstream shelves. Okay, Matt says, similar to changing times, I think you meant. Uh, Max says, I can't believe I finally caught your live stream. Well, congratulations. You definitely did. This is a good one. We're still, we're only done with the first segment. I got three more segments to go. This is going to be a little bit of a longer live stream than what I normally do. Uh, but yeah, right now, if you're just now getting to the live stream, we're trying to engage with you a little bit. I want to know where you buy your diapers from and why. Max says, uh, Walmart, because they have more selection. It's faster for me. Online products are great, but expensive, but I do love Tyfels. Well, Max, I'm really glad to hear that because the main thing today, if you're just now joining us, this live stream today is sponsored by Confidry 24-7, available at walmart.com. Excuse me one moment. Sorry about that. Just driving me nuts. Okay. Where are we at here? Let me switch back over to this. Okay. Uh, Walmart, because they... So, Max, I was just trying to say, this stream is sponsored by Confidry 24-7. In the link, in the description below, is a link to the Confidry product on Walmart.com. So, if you've never tried Confidry yourself, and you already ordered from Walmart.com, Maybe give those a try next as a thank you to our sponsor, help them out a little bit, but also help us achieve our goal of giving Confidry and better quality products on shelves. Um, Billy says, I buy mine online because they aren't available in regular local stores. Ditto. Paul says, online ones at stores, online ones at stores are horrible. Uh, I'm assuming you mean the products at stores are horrible. Yes, agreed. Uh, sometimes through Amazon, Billy says North Shore, uh, Reverend Soccer Pamps Online is the only way to go to get a hold of the Mega Maxes and the Trests that I prefer. Well, if we could get Mega Max and Trest stocked in stores, would you buy them in stores? Uh, Jay says, Love the Trests. Doggo, my dog's with me watching. Well, that's good. <laughs> now we got him back here. He's behind me somewhere there. But he's <laughs> the scratching at the door is driving me a little bit crazy. Chris Wolverine says, I buy online uh, mostly due to the fact no stores carry anything that works for me. Same. I buy mostly from North Shore. I like Crinkles, Mega Max 2, North Shore Supreme. Uh, Craig says, North Shore Supreme are the ones I use when I work. Those are actually super great work diapers. They're relatively thin, discreet, but also very absorbent. So those are one of the ones that I covered in my, uh, my daytime diapers video that I did a while back. So for those of you who are looking for more discreet daytime diapers that are still quite absorbent, check out that video. Matt says, Rears is my go-to because I enjoy their products. Would love to go to a brick and mortar uh, Rears store. They had one for a short time, but went back to online only. Yeah, I'm not as familiar with the Rears brand myself. Uh, I personally don't like the company, but many of you like their products so my personal biases towards not covering them or featuring them on the channel are starting to break down a little bit in an effort to serve you better i've been i've been realizing lately there's some things that i do rather selfishly sometimes that don't serve you to the best of my ability so we'll be correcting some of those things as we go forward uh chris says been trying convo dry since you mentioned them all the time they have been working good for my urge and other incontinence then that's fantastic to hear they're a super great diaper uh max says oh my god definitely i've seen you've been using them a lot so i'm happy to give convo dry a try the tapes look great as well as the padding looks awesome it really is keep in mind when you see me wearing them i do generally wear them with a booster pad so if the, I mean, they still are rel relatively thick, very absorbent diaper without the booster pad, but I usually wear it with a booster pad just because it gives me that extra assurance and comfort that I like and need. Um, so yeah, uh, how have you, uh, yeah, Cross of Time says, yeah, have you seen how shipping is crazy now? Used to be able to spend 30 to 50 to get free shipping. How is it 150 on North Shore? Yeah, I haven't been keeping up too much with that, but you guys are probably well aware of 
a lot of the inflation and supply chain issues going on already, uh, which, you know, is further repercussions of, of COVID wreaking habit. But okay, we've gotten through our first segment. Oh my gosh, I still had another question here I wanted to ask you. If, which we pretty much just did, we we pretty much answered the question that most of you, if you could buy a high quality product in stores, would. Um, but just just for the sake of keeping it simple, if you would buy a high quality product like Confidry, Mega Max, whatever your favorite brand is that's high quality that you cannot get in stores right now, if you could buy that in stores, put a one in the chat for yes. Uh, put. If you could buy that in stores and you would do it, put a one in the chat for yes and put a two in the chat for no. Then we'll move on to our next segment. Music says, Rear's Grand is great. I love the purple ones. Uh, Shuluka says, we'll go with the unisex pull-ups, diapers for work indeed. Uh, Chris says, booster pad and or stuffer definitely go well with them. Speaking about booster pads, could we also get booster pads in stores? I swear, I never find any in store at Max. That is a part of this overall mission. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into the next part of the uh, segment here. Before we do, just a quick reminder, this sponsor, this live stream is sponsored by Confidry 24-7 today. So, if you want to help keep them as a sponsor of the channel and just show them love and gratitude for helping support this content, check out that link in the description below to walmart.com and use that to give us a help. To give us a helping hand. <laughs> My goodness. Um, all right. So we got a ton of ones. We got a ton of ones. I'm so happy to see that. That's great. That's fantastic. Because in order to get to that level of quality of products in stores, I'm going to need your help to accomplish this. All right. So let's go ahead and jump in now. We're going to do that. For those of you who are just now joining, I guess we got 25 people watching. I don't know how many of you have been here the whole time. But for those of you who are just now joining... We covered in the first segment all of the various products that currently occupy shelf shelving space in mainstream brick and mortar stores like Walmart, CVS, Pharmacy, different places like that. And we covered the fact that they're mostly occupied by three or four major companies and that the vast majority of them are really meant for relatively minor incontinence issues. If you have any kind of heavier, moderate to heavy condition, you're not going to find any products in stores that will be suitable to your needs. So that's what we covered in the first part. Working together to boost sales. Um, okay, we also covered the fact that I was approached by somebody working with Confidry looking to boost the sales on Walmart.com. So the idea here is we want to boost the sales on Walmart.com website for the particular product that we're going to get in store shelves. So that way we can convince Walmart that there's enough volume to stock this store this product in store um, so that is the overall agenda now the people that I'm partnering up to achieve this objective do have some connections in Walmart already so we'll see where that goes I need to probe on that deeper and uh, see what sort of products they've been able to accomplish getting on Walmart shelves it's my understanding that they've done that before maybe I have that wrong but either way, we're going to do it here on this channel, whether it's with Confidry or just on our own. That remains to be seen because now the seed is planted in my mind. I see what a big problem this is, and I want to make it part of my overall objective because, you know, this whole channel is about normalizing use of diapers for whatever needs people have for them. And part of that would be calling the adult diaper aisle the adult diaper aisle. Part of that would be actually making a variety of products available in stores so that way those who are uninitiated and who are having these issues when they go to the store they can find a product that will actually work for them so naturally when i got approached by confidry to, to take this on i was already super excited just by the fact that it's confidry and it's my favorite brand But uh, this this sponsorship today is really kind of like a trial partnership because, you know, they for them, they want to see an increase in sales. Uh, and honestly, that's something that's going to happen with repeated exposure to the audience, especially especially a very specifically uh, targeted audience like you guys who use these products, you know. Sorry, I gotta move my little my little notes over here where I can see you better. Um, 
Yeah, so this is a kind of a trial partnership today. We we uh, negotiated a few different pieces of content, and uh, I think really the way that this is going to work and be most successful is if instead of doing a live stream like this where I have to break down the entire goal for you guys is if I could do it in a more concise way in a trailer and some of my more entertaining and informative content. Uh, the main mission is to help Comfort Dry get their diapers available on Walmart shelves. That would be that'd be quite the accomplishment, right? If we could do that, it'd be pretty awesome. I'd be happy to be a part of accomplishing anything like that. Imagine seeing Comfort Dry or Mega Max or Better Dry or even Crinkles on Walmart shelves. That'd be pretty cool. Besides the fact it would be cool to see a quality product like Comfort Dry on store shelves. It can mean so much more for the industry. This is really what gets me going beyond the concept of being a part of helping get a quality product like this on store shelves. For me, I think it's a lot bigger than that. I think that if we can get one, pro if we can just start with this one product, we, if we can just start with Confidry 24 seven and somehow generate enough sales on walmart.com to convince them to stock that product in stores on shelves, that would be a breakthrough right there in and of itself. Because there's no diaper-like product like Confidry on store shelves yet, uh, at least today. There used to be, but but yeah, I think once we do that, that would open up the door to other brands potentially coming to the table as well. And then once we're able to get those other brands in stores on brick-and-mortar shelves, it could potentially have a ripple effect on healthcare providers and insurance companies on the types of products that they're willing to cover and provide. That's my biggest hope, my greatest hope towards achieving these goals is first we start by shifting the landscape of the products available in brick and mortar stores. That way more people become uh, aware of the vast variety of products available for incontinence issues, as well as become more uh, accepting of discussing these things in an open manner and calling a diaper a diaper instead of labeling it incontinence underwear, protective underwear, all of these uh, different labels and names that we have for them to hide and disguise our shame over it. So that is why I feel like this is such an important project for this channel because it's one of those notches in the belt. It's one of those milestones on the pathway towards achieving normalization of adult diaper use for whatever reasons that people have. So So really, it's my hope that by helping Drive build up enough brand recognition and sales online, that we can help them get there. And I believe that we can do it. Did I just do that politician thumb thing? Blah. <laughs> I don't know why they do this, but you find yourself doing it sometimes. Ugh. All right, so it's my hope. Um... Really, the, the idea is that I hope to form a long-term relationship with Confidry as well as other companies North Shore if you're watching give me a call because I feel like you know if we can get Confidry on store shelves and North Shore on store shelves uh, as I grow the channel really the idea is like I'm still small time right now I got 6,000 followers almost 7,000 subscribers here on YouTube that's small time for a YouTuber my goal with this channel is to get that silver play button, that 100,000 subscribers. I want that silver play button. In fact, I want that gold play button. That's a million subscribers. In order to get to that level, though, I, I definitely am going to have to produce better quality content and just expand the reach of the content by doing some more interesting things, which I definitely have in the works. But the idea is to formulate these partnerships now with Confidry, while I'm still only at 6,000 followers, so that way they can grow with me as I grow and get that exposure to the audience that I'm pulling in on all platforms. So I'm going to get to 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube eventually at some point, whether that's within the next year, the next five years, I don't know. And I will get to 100,000 followers on multiple TikTok accounts right now i have uh two or three different ones uh two dedicated to the diaper dynamo a third one that's sort of like an experimental one i'll probably start a third one dedicated to the diaper dynamo because this is the way that i have to do it to avoid having to avoid getting banned like i did before because i don't do anything that is you know gonna get me banned from TikTok. but uh their report feature is a little bit troublesome so Ultimately, the goal is to have these any brand that partners with me grow with me. 
to help grow towards achieving this particular goal first off of altering the products in the adult diaper aisle and then later on doing other things you know once we do that then we can work towards uh hitting at the insurance companies and the healthcare providers and then once we do that we can start working towards post-consumer recycling of used adult diapers that's a whole different thing in and of itself but all these things work in sequential order and we will achieve them all we'll try anyway <laughs> um okay so yeah i mean clearly we have a very large uphill battle place before us and a lot of work to do to get there so on top of uh, attacking this by just growing my reach and my and broadening my audience and exposing more people to being used to calling a diaper a diaper and not feeling so dirty about saying the word diaper, I, I remember those days. I remember those days when I just thought the word diaper and I would feel embarrassed by it. Like where we're just saying the word diaper, which is like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> I remember those days, but this is this is part of what this channel is about attacking this social cultural idiocy over a tool um, okay but more than that more than cre creating this social and cultural shift around the tool of using a diaper i'm gonna make a lot of noise i'm gonna make a lot of noise about how terrible this is how do these companies that that do billions of dollars in profits every year off of this market not understand how to serve the market and they they're the leaders they're supposed to be the leaders in the field they're the ones who are setting the tone of the conversation the reason why when people go to grocery stores and they think that these are the products to buy is because these are the big dogs that have all of the capital and they're spending you know millions of dollars on traditional classic marketing materials on regular TV when they should be spending some of that money over here on this channel, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Come on, Kimberly Clark, you want my, you want to come over and help us out? I'll, I'll tell you how to make that aisle a lot better, and I'll, I'll definitely help you increase your sales because your products, they could be a lot better. Like, why did you stop at a pull-ups? Like, the pull-ups is like, ugh. all right. Anyway, I'm beating, the, I'm beating the dead horse now. So yeah, I believe all these goals can all be accomplished through the production of high quality content that serves you your which is their targeted demographic you and i we are their targeted demographic we're the people who wear these products and by me producing high quality informative and entertaining content for you to enjoy that's going to move the needle not to get on a whole big soapbox on content and how content has impacted the world but a lot of people won't realize or think about a lot of people don't realize or think about the things that qualify as content that have changed the world. So things like Martin Luther King's speech, I Have a Dream, that is content. That is a speech of content that had an impact on the world. JFK's speech about going to the moon and stuff like that, that's content that had an impact on the world. Uh, if you look at things like like uh, organized religions, organized religions were some of the first movers on the printing press they moved and they made their vision and their content go through the printing press and they got their foothold on the world through content so the point is these things can be accomplished through content so on that note we're gonna take our second break here and and I just want to see you know let me switch over oh can you guys hear me oh shit hey if you guys can hear me i lost my battery so give me a second here while i uh fix the battery up Sorry, guys. Oi. Oi. 
you guys hear me? Let's see if you're still with me. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, sorry about that, guys. I didn't notice that the battery died on me there. How we doing? You guys can see me? You can hear me? You can see me? We got 90 people still watching. Okay. All right, sorry about that. I could have switched the windows here and kept you going on that. Um, okay, you can hear me. Hopefully, you can now see me as well. Looks like we got it working again. Um, there it goes. Okay. You guys should be catching up here in just a second. I don't know where I left off at, guys. I think I think we were going into our break here. Was that the second break? Yeah. Wow, it was only the second break. Okay. Let me go to what I had planned for the second break. Okay, so I wanted to ask you guys. Oh, we already did that one. This is the one we want. Let me go back over to my screen over here. Okay, so have you tried Confa Dry Diapers yet? Put a one in the chat for yes and a two in the chat for no. So yes, a one for yes if you've tried Confa Dry, two for no if you have not yet tried Confa Dry. And I'm gonna give you a minute here because judging from my my little screen over here, which I'm streaming my own stream from. You guys are on a bit of a delay there. And here we go. Let me close up, hear you, can hear you. Yes, all good. All right, we got ones and twos. There we go, ones and twos, ones and twos. Let's go back over to my camera here so you're not staring at a big old yellow screen. All right, so one for yes, two for no. We got a couple ones, we got a couple twos, a couple ones, a couple twos. All right, so we got some people in the audience who have not yet tried tried the Confa Dry Diaper. To those of you who haven't tried it, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Check out that link in the description below. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So we got some people in the audience who are familiar with Confa Dry. And uh, for those of you who have tried Confa Dry, what are your thoughts? Do you think it's a good product? Do you have any criticisms of it? Anything that I should pass along to the manufacturer on things that they should do to make it better? Any, any thoughts it, that you would like to share, pop them in that chat real quick while I pull up the next piece of my presentation here. Yes, I also, we already covered some of this stuff, so I feel like I'm kind of repeating some of it. I won't go over it again. You guys did say... Actually, you know what? I didn't ask that. You guys said you would buy them in stores at Walmart. But what do you think about buying your diapers from Walmart.com? I know we already have one watcher, Max, who says he does that himself. Uh, but would you buy your diapers on the Walmart website? Specifically, if you wouldn't do it um, just in general, would you do it just specifically to achieve this goal that we're talking about today? If by buying your diapers on Walmart.com, you knew it's going to move the needle towards potentially achieving this outcome, would you do that? All right, so, and then before I move on to the next segment here, just once again, one final time, Confidry is sponsoring this video today, so thank you so much for that support, Confidry. If you want to give them a thanks as well, use that link in the description below. It would go a long way towards helping us out towards achieving the goal. Class of Time says yes if it's online. Uh, Reverend Soggy Pamp says Confidry is a great product, but I have had better luck with structural strength and price over other products to meet my personal needs. I'm not too sure what you mean by that. I mean, in way of the price of Confidry, it's about a dollar sixty per diaper, which is almost a dollar cheaper than the Mega Max. You know, it's roughly 
about I would say maybe it's a little bit uh, like a maybe a slight step below the Mega Max, but the sizing for me is is better. I mean, it really depends on how you're gonna judge it. Because personally, I like Confidrive better than Mega Max just because it fits me better. Um, we got Carlos or Dar Darth Raptor saying hi. Hello, Darth Raptor. Welcome to the live stream. Thank you for joining us today. We can do a quick recap here if you're just joining, but looks like. You go for your diapers on Amazon. And then Chris Wolfraven says, I like the Confit Dry. I'm a small and thin person, so the fit is really important for me, and it's a good fit. The tapes were good. And I've only had a couple of tape failures, but it's rare. Uh, I'd buy both. Yeah, you know, that's, to be honest, like, I, I occasionally do have a tape failure. It's pretty rare when that happens. Every once in a while, I'll get a batch with some sort of manufacturing flaw. That's pretty rare when that happens. And generally, most distributors are willing to work with you if it's any kind of really major manufacturing flaw that's affecting the whole case. Uh, okay, so. So Xander says, so how exactly are you going to improve the adult diaper aisle? Xander, I don't know how long you've been here for, but we did actually cover some of that already. Uh, mainly, it's about getting companies to partner with me as I grow, so that way they can grow their brand recognition as I grow my brand recognition. And then on top of that, the other thing is to start calling out the major companies making a lot of noise about the total inadequacy of the selection of products that they have available on store shelves. So that's kind of like a quick synopsis of what I've covered so far. All right, so we got some interaction going on here. Let's hop into the next section of my little presentation. So, uh, give me a second here, guys. Covered some of this already. So, to go back to Xander's question, basically, I believe in the Comfort Dry product first and foremost. I think it's a high quality product. And uh, to achieve what I'm setting out to achieve here is going to become an ingrained part of this channel and the stuff that we talk about. Uh, I just, uh, after being approached by Confidry, whether Confidry wants to continue working with me on this project, project or not, I'm going to continue to call out the industry on the terrible amount of selections that they have available for people in brick and mortar stores. So ultimately, the idea is to make a lot of noise, bring a lot of attention to it, make a ton of content talking about it and just keep pushing that boundary out further and further as I grow this channel and as I grow my reach. Really though, the first step of this process comes with getting people like you guys to use the walmart.com link in the description below to buy just this one product, Convert Dry 24 seven. I think what we need to focus on first is getting one single product on shelves, but if we were to create like a coalition of products, like a campaign, like if I was able to get Confidry on board, as well as North Shore on board, as well as Better Dry on board, like if I can get all these different companies saying like, hey, we're on board with this mission and we support you in this mission, if they can all, if I can get all of those companies to sponsor the channel, sponsor content on the channel, then I can make much better content. They can reach a larger variety of people out there in a more diverse audience, thus, further helping to achieve the goal. So ultimately, we really need to, to focus on creating sales on walmart.com for the specific product that we're targeting today, we're talking about today, or any other product that we're looking to get on the shelves. I think maybe as time goes on and I get some connections at Walmart, uh, if I... It, if I'm able to speak to anybody there, maybe I can get an objective like on how much volume of product we would need to be pushing or selling online or to them, for them to consider possibly stocking it in shelves. There's a whole series of things that need to happen. But right now, the first thing that needs to happen is we just need to start trying to push that walmart.com website. Not my favorite thing to do, but I really want to achieve this goal. So, let me get some others. So, when it comes to how to achieve that, what do you guys think about the goal of getting products on shelves? Do you have any other ideas on how to possibly achieve such an outcome? 
know, uh, it, I in becoming a creator, a YouTuber, I study a lot of creators. It's just it's what I do. And uh, it's there are many examples of YouTube creators or campaigns that have been created to boost the sales of a particular product or to get a, there are YouTube creators who have created products that got their products in Walmart store shelves. So I know it's possible. I know it can be done. It's not an impossible task. And I know it can be done with high quality content. And I don't, you know, an influencer. I don't know if I consider myself technically an influencer, so to speak. I'm a, I, I look at myself as a creator, a content creator, but with the creation of content and the reaching of a certain amount of people, there comes a certain level of influence with that. So if I can use that influence for good, that's what I'm going to do. Let's see here. Your dad's six wife says, how old are you? I am 36. Darth Raptor says, medical supplies, stores, diapers, sucks too. Well, that's a whole different thing, uh, you know. Right now, I'm just focused on the mainstream stores, and uh, I think that that uh, if we were to change what's going on in mainstream stores, that would have a ripple effect on medical supply stores as well. So, Shalika says, I actually planning to be converting in... Okay. Um, Black Guardian, hi. We got the Extra Man Johnson hopping in. What's up, Extra Man Johnson? I do video game streaming on YouTube myself. That's awesome, Darth Raptor. Okay, so let me just see where I left off in my stream here. Do you guys think that if we're able to get, let's just say we're if we're able to get Confa Dry on store shelves, do you think that would have any change on anything else? Do you think that would, like personally, I think it would have a ripple effect on the industry. I think it would have a ripple effect on the products that are available on store shelves. I think it would have a ripple effect on the products that are covered by insurance companies and health care providers. Uh, personally, I, I think this is just the first step towards achieving many bigger and better things. Reverend Soggy Pamp says, I think two biggest hurdles we need to overcome will be production volume from diaper companies and store shelf markups. Yeah, well, those, those I feel like those are problems that are further down the road. Sloth Captain says, you are the best. Well, thank you, Sloth Captain. I really appreciate that. If you guys are really loving and enjoying the live stream today and you want to thank me, I, uh, get really feeling super special things, hit me up with a super chat. That'd be super awesome. But uh, yeah, either way, I'm going to keep trying to deliver that content as best I can. Go, boy. What's up, buddy? It's been a little while since I've seen you around. Good to see you, my friend. Glad you're here with us today. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> would it be possible to open up the door? Yeah. Okay. So I'm still, I'm still a little unsure on how you guys feel on whether or not getting one single quality product like Conva Dry on store shelves would have any kind of impact on the rest of the industry or those who need these products, you know? Chris Wolf Raven says, I think it would affect, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Chris Wolf Raven says, I think it would affect the diaper market in general from maybe bigger sizes for special needs kids and the like and the normal normalization of common issues. Exactly. See, now, now we're on the same frequency because that's my thought process as well, you know. Uh, and then even beyond that, when you want to get into special needs issues and special, I just think that overall it would be that that f straw that breaks the camel's back, that trickle to start the waterfall, that 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 that, that first step that we need to take that will help open up the door towards other options because. Personally, I do think that the adult diaper aisle should be a lot bigger. I think there should be a lot more options. I think there should be a lot more cool patterns and prints to choose from, uh, both for those who have special needs and just for those of us who would like to have a little bit more style and flair with our diaper choices. So I think all of those possibilities open up just by accomplishing this one single goal. So if you agree with me, 
and you want to help out with that, hit that link in the description below for your next Compa Dry order. Okay. Uh, I really hope... <clears throat> Darth Raptor says, I really hope it does work for my experience. Medical insurance providers only cover the cheapest products. Yeah, I mean, I actually have a whole slew of other types of ideas to address issues like that. I don't want to say too much because it's utilizing utilizing things that are somewhat controversial at this point in time. But uh, I think there is plenty of ways to approach resolving those types of issues. Uh, okay, well, I have one more segment to go over here real quick before we uh, get into a more prolonged powwow back and forth where we open up the floor to questions. So in this last segment here, I just want to assure you guys of a few things. The most important thing I want to promise you is I want to make sure no matter what partners I take on that I'm serving you with high quality content is always my number one concern. I don't, this is kind of like a one-off specialized thing. I don't think that every time I take on a partner, it's going to require uh, an extended live stream like this just to kind of explain the concept and the idea. The biggest reason I'm doing this day is because I got like one or two at bat. I got, this is my main at bat for Confidry and in order to explain my vision and my concept of how to accomplish their goal I wasn't going to be able to do it by this was the only way I could do it I, I, I had to take my chance to uh, to pitch you guys the idea and kind of give you an idea of the overall vision the higher purpose that we're trying to achieve here this isn't just about Confidry this isn't just about me and my channel and, and getting partnerships for my channel to help keep the content going. This is about improving the industry. This is about improving the quality of selection for everyone out there who needs these products and uh, improving their quality of life. Chris Wolfraven with the $20 super chat. Thank you so much, my friend. I really, really appreciate that. That's so awesome. He says, our fabulous flair. Yes, I need more cool prints and colors on my diapers. I agree, man. It'd be so cool to have like some Marvel themed diapers or Superman themed diapers, just the kind of like you know the stuff we grew up with, the stuff that we all know and love, the you know even just just regular more adult type of prints. Just I think there should be a whole slew of varieties available. Douglas Whitman with another super chat. Thank you so much, Douglas. Oh my gosh, you guys are being so awesome today uh, with the super love heart sticker. Thank you, man. Really appreciate that. But I just, uh, in this last section here, just want to make sure that I'm assuring you guys, this is not this live stream today where I'm kind of a little bit more on the sales mini type thing is not how this channel is going to be. This is not how I want the content to be. I just felt like it was necessary to adequately explain the vision that we're trying to achieve and how it works perfectly into the overall vision and goal of this channel of normalizing adult diapers for everyone to use, no matter their reasons. And uh, ideally, the way it would work, ideally, I would make this entire presentation, I would take the vision of the idea and make it super concise and to the point, and maybe like a 30-second to 60-second trailer that would roll somewhere in the middle of the high-quality content. Because I feel like, you know, when it comes to accomplishing goals like this, it requires repeated exposure. I mean, that's that's how advertising works, right? You have to constantly expose the market to the idea, to the concept, to the goal, to the product, whatever it is you're trying to achieve. And uh, that would be a lot more efficient than a one or two hour long live stream. I have no idea how long we've been going at this point, but yeah. And um, I'm losing my train of thought here. We got William Wharf with a, with a dollar ninety nine donation. Thank you so much. Every dollar, every penny it all helps keep this channel going keeps the content flowing and gives me super hype so thank you William Worf much love and appreciation for your donation so much love um, yeah so the point is though that for me to make the best quality content that I can for you guys 
I need partners that want these mid-roll trailers. I, those, those are the kinds of things that are going to equip me to make some really awesome content. I have so many ideas that I want to bring to you guys that I just cannot do at this point without the necessary cash flow to build a team, the necessary cash flow to go on trips and pay for certain things that need to be done. <clears throat> but there are a lot of cool things that we can do because personally, as someone who's incontinent and needs to wear diapers, there's a lot of things in my life that I've been really reserved on. There's a lot of experiences that I've been, you know, kinds of things that I, I tend to avoid. Like uh, a lot of us, we tend to avoid anything to do with water, swimming, water parks, going on a boat trip, going, you know, there's all sorts of activities that we avoid doing that are associated with water just because of the fact that we wear diapers. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things that I can make content for regarding that. And the best way for me to do it efficiently, effectively, and in the most entertaining and informative way possible is if I get more brand partners sponsoring the content. So those, those are the ideal partnerships for me to form. That way I can focus on delivering you with the quality content without being all salesman-y like this and just pitching that link and hammering it to you in your head over and over again. You know what I'm saying? That's not the ideal way to do this, but I had to take my at bat where I can get it. You know, I have to take them where I can get them. Um, but yeah, ultimately, I just wanted to make sure that I assure you guys that this is not how the this is not the common way that I want to go about these things. But I felt that for today's live stream, it was really necessary for me to elaborate on the concept, the game plan, and all of the various different things that we are seeking to accomplish with the Diaper Dynamo brand. So, with that, I open up the floor to whatever questions you guys might have. We'll hang out for a little bit. As you can see, it's pretty. I'm starting to work up a sweat because it's pretty hot in here. But uh, we'll keep it going here for a few more minutes. And uh, before we really open up the floor, I just want to thank one last time Confidry 24/7 for sponsoring this video. I do have uh, another, I have a TikTok video that they sponsored as well that I'm going to have to put together. It's not ready yet. I wanted to launch it today, but I also want to make sure I do a really good job on it. So if you follow me on TikTok, uh, be on the lookout for that. Uh, if you don't already follow me on TikTok, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Get, get it together. You know, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. You, If you're only following me in one place, you're missing out. You're not getting the full picture of everything it is that I do you know so Steve I'm sorry buddy I saw you pop in a while ago and say hi and good morning and I just like got I got on a tangent there Steve thank you for joining the live stream today good morning to you my friend I appreciate you being here and I love seeing your little diaper badges in there those of you who are part of the the membership the membership program you got those cool little diaper badges that I made it feels like an eternity ago <laughs> so it's really cool to see them pop up and uh, let's see. So if you have any questions related, it would be awesome if your questions or your commentary was related to the goal of getting uh, a better selection of products on store shelves. But if you have any other questions uh, that you would like me to answer, feel free to pop them in. Appropriate questions, please. Uh, your dad's six wives, your, your aunt, you're asking some unusual questions there. So, by Guardian says, I hope you achieve everything you are trying to do. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Energy like that is energy that I can use and harness towards our goals. So, <laughs> you know, I use I use that energy, and uh, I take it and I channel it creatively. Chris Wolfraven says, Can you get all your TikTok users' names so I'm sure to follow them all? So I don't miss anything. Well, um, there's one TikTok account that I have that I don't post on very much. It's sort of an experimental account. Don't want to reveal that one because that one's kind of like a. It it is diaper related, but it's also related to. Some, it's like a. It's kind of an experiment. But the other two accounts are. Uh, let's see here. In fact, let me pull them up real quick. Let's go over here. And let's go over here. So on TikTok. So this one is at the real diaper dynamo. 
and then uh, the other one I believe is just Diaper Dynamo. So the original one was the Diaper Dynamo, and this one is the real Diaper Dynamo, and then the other one that I'm working on building up is just Diaper Dynamo. That one's the smaller account right now, and uh, basically the way it works is oh let me get off of that. Basically, the way it works is I have to rotate through different accounts. So, like, if I have an account blowing up and I'm getting a lot of views and then all of a sudden I'm getting a lot of reports on videos and stuff like that, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'll, when it gets to a point where it's in danger, I will then place that account on private and switch to a different account while I work and build up a different account. So, uh, if you have any trouble finding those, hit me up on Instagram in a direct message or on Twitter in a direct message and I can send you the links. And, uh... Your dad's six wives. If you're going to keep spamming the chat, I'm going to block you, my friend. So if you don't have any questions or stuff, uh, yeah, we're going to have to we're going to have to take care of that. <laughs> you know, uh, I think I saw you earlier say you're 12. If you're 12, that's that's great, man. Just be a little mature. If you're going to engage in the discussion, engage in the discussion. Otherwise, don't. Um. All right, so Jesse says, get a sponsorship with In Control Diapers. Yeah, see, here's the thing with that. That's really owned by Rears. And while I'm opening up to possibly talking about their products more, I'm not quite sure how I feel about endorsing them or getting them as a brand partner, you know, unless they're willing to pay. Yeah, if they're willing to pay, which my experience tells me they're probably not willing to pay, then sure we can talk about it i'm a girl oh well sorry you have a your your name is your dad i don't know <laughs> your dad six wives is an unusual name for a 12 year old girl to have so um yeah gotta pop back out check on spaghetti sauce Ooh, that sounds nice i'm hungry i'm getting hungry guys i haven't ate yet today and uh, this live stream is going on. I, I mean, I knew it was going to be a long live stream. I didn't know it was going to be this long. But you guys are super awesome. You guys hit me up with the super chat. So thank you so much for that. Hopefully, if anybody's watching this on the replay, they hit it up with a super thanks. All Every dollar is so helpful right now. I cannot explain that or elaborate or appreciate it enough. So thank you very, very much. Henry VIII, the cake. Now that you mention it, your profile face is Henry VIII. And did he have six wives? Why does a 12-year-old... I'm just... I'm a little baffled by your account. You're a 12-year-old girl who's fascinated with Henry VIII enough to name your... You're a 12-year-old girl who's a historian? Really? Really? You're a 12-year-old girl who's a historian... Really? Come on now. <laughs> I'm I'm extremely skeptical. But okay, this 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 conversation getting way off track. Does anybody else have any questions in relation to adult diapers, to bedwetting issues, to incontinence issues? Anybody have any questions or commentary regarding the main topic today or anything like that? Because I am about to end the live stream. It's super hot in here. I need to cool off, get a cup of coffee, eat some breakfast. You know. You know. Chris, Wolf Raven says, you're great, Mark. Your support feels good and is needed, especially when I get little to no support at home. Well, I'm sorry to hear you don't get support at home, but you always have friends in this community. This is definitely a place where you can come for love and support. And yeah, the Patreon community, the Discord community, you're obviously, you, you, I think you just became a member of the YouTube membership program today. So uh, if you have any trouble finding the link to the Discord group, let me know. Uh, there are a lot of awesome people in that group that will be there for you for any issues that you might have. So.
Okay, I think I've had enough of this. All right, guys. We're going to uh, let's see what's a good diaper for adults to buy at a store. It's funny you ask that. <laughs> this whole presentation has been about how crappy the quality selection of diapers is at stores. So I don't really have a good answer for you. Uh, you you're probably better off. Yeah, even in the even in Walgreens, there wasn't very good options in the Walgreens video that I showed. So yeah. The king did have six wives and a couple of side ladies, but he offered his marriages. Yeah, with a shit. <laughs> Chris, that's what I was saying. I was like, well, it does make sense that he, I'm pretty sure he had about six wives, but I'm pretty sure he also killed all of them. And also, that's not something like that's typical of a 12 year old girl to idolize or or worship or like what? Like a 12 year old girl is idolizing. It's, it's, it's not adding up. It's not adding up to me. You know? <laughs> Um, don't worry guys. I, I blocked that person. They're, 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 they're gone. Uh, whoever they were, whatever their agenda was. Um, William Wharf says, I'll try to see if I can get a couple of local mom and pop stores to sell something like a beaner on the shelves. I'll let you know how it works out. If we start on local level, we'll see progress. So William, that's actually, that's not the goal right now. The goal right now, like we got to start with one specific brand on a mainstream shelf not these local not these small medical shops that's not going to do it you know we have to the goal is to get Confidrite 24 7 on walmart shelves so if you're motivated to do that if you want to see a better product in stores let's work together on this one goal in the link in the description below that way we can convince Confidrite to work with me with me more and we can keep them on board and we can work towards pushing those numbers up for them while also creating better and more informative content that attacks the problem on a cultural and social angle. Keep up the great work. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate the love. Definitely going to keep up the great work. Do Little Ranch says, I would call Confidry and see what price they could do on a bulk order for discount and get a reseller's account to get the price per package down to a minimum. So even then, that's not really the best way to go. You know, there's certain, when you get into the game, let's just say that's probably not the best route to go. You know, that yes, I could be a reseller and I probably would make good money doing that, but I'm not in a position yet where I'm ready to take on that challenge. Because for me, if I'm gonna become a reseller of Confidry diapers myself, I don't think I want to take that on until I actually have a team behind me that can help produce the level and quality of content that I want to get to. You know what I'm saying? Because um, right now, content, that's that's my thing. That's my game. That's where I'm going to make my mark. That's where I'm going to carve out my path. And it's going to be the engine that fuels everything that comes after it. Content is king. At least in my world. DGM192 so it's only good to get them online so right now in order to convince Walmart to stock Confidry on store shelves we need to increase the sales of Confidry in their online website so I think that's the first step we increase the sales of Confidry 24-7 on walmart.com and convince them to stock it in store shelves so it's really the route at this moment that I'm taking and then hit it on the other side of the equation with a ton of content calling out the big corporations on the crap selection they provide for people and uh, yeah I think that it just it's going to build and progress as we take steps to walk down this path like I say all the time when you start your journey to do anything the most important thing to do is to take the first step because once you take the first step the pathway begins to unfold. You might not know, you might not be able to see the entire pathway. You might not know the entire pathway towards the goal, but you know the goal, you know the destination. You have to act by taking that first step. Once you take that first step and act, the next step will be revealed. So, 
Um, uh, Chris says spammers have some imagination that needs better channeling. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. I mean, that's not spammer. That's that's what you call a troll, right? You know, there's no 12 year old girl who has that level of interest in history in King James. Like, sh get out of here. Like, what? <laughs> um, do little ranch said I would try to do a direct shipping from Comptry to the Walmart buyer, but keep you in the middle of the transaction. Save on shipping twice instead of double shipping to you and the client and to the client. If you're gonna try a content path, I would follow the YouTube algo. And you will have to upload. Er Do a little ranch. I'm sorry, but that's not how it works. So, I'm not going to sit here and get into the, the details of that kind of stuff. But I'm confident in the pathway that I've chosen. I'm confident in my approach. Uh, what's the website? The website to buy Confidry, the Confidry diapers. So the, the website, you're looking for the link in the description below the video. There's a link to walmart.com to the Confidry diaper. Um, now, if you're asking about my website, my website is wearingadultdiapers.com. That's just informative stuff. Um, but the website for the goal that we're here to discuss today is walmart.com and uh yeah i would just say use the link in the description because it'll bring you right to the product the long address name is not something i can say or remember but okay guys i think i'm gonna end it here it's been a lovely having this chat with you guys today you all are so wonderful and awesome thank you so 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 much for the super chats thank you so much to confidry for sponsoring this live stream today and i look forward towards achieving this goal with you guys going forward and really pumping out awesome content for you to enjoy. So without further ado, without further ado, without any further elaboration, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And for those of you that need the reminder, until next time, stay dry. <laughs>